This video is the continuation of the previous video. Now we know what the leading coefficient test is. I have four functions or equations. We are tr trying to use the leading coefficient test to determine the left hand and right hand behavior of each function. Now, in the previous video, I said instead of memorizing the a long sentence, memorizing these 16 letters. So let me show you what these 16 letters mean. Now, starting for the first one, we have y equals to 3 plus 2x to the fifth minus 2x to the third. Now, tell me, where is the highest degree? The highest degree is 5, right? So 5 this is the biggest degree, so therefore the leading degree is 5. What is the leading coefficient? The leading coefficient, you know what? The 5, I will just put it right here. The leading coefficient is the number in front of the x to the fifth, which is equals to 2. Now, the leading degree is this odd or even. 5 is odd, right? So 5 is odd. And then the leading coefficient is positive then which, which one should, should i choose positive uh i i said p n i will just use positive which is p so take a look at these 16 letters leading degree is odd leading coefficient is positive then falls to the left and rises to the right so this is a force to the left and rises to the right it is just that easy and then the next one the next one you might have to look deeper to determine the leading degree. What is the leading degree? Don't tell me it's one. You have to multiply these three uh, factors. I'm not asking you to, you know, spend two minutes to, to multiply them. So what is the highest degree? When you take this x times this x times this x, that gives you the highest degree, right? Which is equals to three, right? So the highest degree is equals to three. How about the leading coefficient? This times this times that so you have one times negative five five times negative one so the leading coefficient is negative five okay so this is a three the leading coefficient is negative five all right now the leading degree is odd and then the leading coefficient is negative that is here right leading degree is odd leading coefficient is negative so rise to the left and force to the right so this is the rises to the left and falls to the right. All right, so how about number three? Number three, what is the highest, the highest degree? Number three, so the highest degree is, don't tell me it's four. It is not four. This is looks like four, right? But you have a square over here. So when you square that, do we agree that we will have a negative one half x to the fourth times itself? So x to the fourth times x to the fourth, you add the exponent, four plus four is equals to eight. So this is a four plus four, which is equals to eight. And how about the leading coefficient? The leading coefficient, you will have to square this. So that becomes a positive one half, I mean one fourth. A positive one fourth. So now the leading degree is even, and then the leading coefficient is positive. So we have e p r r rises to the left and rises to the right. So this is uh, rises to the left and rises to the right. Last one. What is the leading degree? The leading degree is not one, right? So this is one, but you have to square that. This is one, but you have a sixth power. So the leading degree is actually a second power times a sixth power. X to the second multiply X to the sixth. So X to the second power multiply X to the sixth power, which is X to the six plus two, which is equal to eight, right? So the leading degree is even. And then how about the leading coefficient? This is a one, one raised to the first power. This is a four raised to the sixth power. So what is that equal to? Which is you have a one to the second power multiply four to the sixth power. I don't really care what that equals to. I, am, I care about whether that is positive or negative. This one piece, don't forget that there is a minus. So you have the minus the whole thing, which is negative. So you have even negative, which is force to the left 
and falls to the right. And then you, I know you see that there are some graph in here. I'm trying to use this to verify my answer. I am trying to use this to verify my answer. Uh, let's take a look at the first graph. So the first graph is corresponds to the first function. So this is the first graph. What, what, what do we have? We have falls to the left and rises to the right. So falls to the left, rise to the right. That is correct. And then the next graph, this corresponds to number two. So number two, we have rise to the left and falls to the right. That is correct as well. And then the last one, the last one, we have this. We have this. So this is uh, rises to the left and rises to the right. Let me check. Let me check the last one because the last one I'm not sure if I'm not sure if this is a mistake. This should be like force to the left and force to the right because uh, the reason I put this graph up is I changed the function in the last minute. This this problem. I changed the function in the last minute. So I don't think this is correct. So this one I'm, go I'm going to erase this. I don't think this is correct. So why don't you use a decimal graph this to make sure that it's forced to the left and forced to the right because I, I changed the problem in the last minute right before I make this video. I'm sure that graph is no, no longer correct. Before I change the function, that is the correct graph. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you like the way I explain leading coefficient test, give me a thumbs up. Oh, ah, be before we, we, we go, turning point. Ah, we still have turning points. Turning points, okay, the first, the first function, num number one, what is the highest degree? The highest degree is equals to five. So we have at most five minus one, which is equals to four, right? And then number two, what is the highest degree? The highest degree is three. So this is uh, at most three minus one. And then number three, we have uh, the highest degree is eight, right? And equals to eight, which is eight minus one equals to seven. Is this the first one correct? At most four turning point. Yup, we have two. We have one right here and then one right here. And then the next one at most two, we have one right here and then one right there. And then the last one and then this one, the third one, we have one right here, one right here and then one right there. Uh, to this graph, I did this on decimal. So all you have to do is just click on that point. They will show you what the graph looks like. And then the last one, number four, since the highest degree is equals to eight. And then you have eight minus one, which is equals to seven as well. So the last graph has at most seven turning points. I am not saying it's exactly seven. I'm saying at most seven. At most seven means the maximum is seven. It can be seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, so now this is the end of this video. I will meet you all in the next lesson. Signing out.